me. I feel like what I'm trying to do, if I'm telling y'all, y'all can't fuck with me, I'm basically trying to make y'all hoes. Motivation. Rap, we all finna rap Motivation. this shit, I'm calling y'all out. Like, Motivation. If you harder than me, show me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, when you think about just, you know, Dallas really got an open lane when it comes down to it. You really don't have a lot of, uh, you don't really have a lot of, you know what I mean, just uh, people, you know, that that sticks out. You know what I mean? I think the thing is, is it's a lot of artists that are nice. A lot of artists that go hard, but nobody's making hits. Nobody's making real songs. Everybody's making retarded as simple as ABC hooks or they making songs where they just rapping all the way through. Nothing is B E T awards. Like besides the boy, what's the boy that's going viral right now? Four bets. And send a text to your DM. Buy any for your fucking air. Yeah. He's a, he's star material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know him never I'm not even gonna lie, I never heard of him a day in my life before this song it went viral, but he is star quality. Mm. And like and that's the type of music you need to be going for if you wanna make it past local. And a lot of people have a big head right now, but I don't see them going past local. You might get local fine, you might get local buzz, you might be known as a city as you a good rapper, but Go out of the city, nobody know who the fuck you are. And that's as far as you're going to make it. You let, you let your head get big off local fame, and that's as far as you're going. Wow. So I know South Dallas Kiki has been the point of discussion. Like, would you do a track? Rain is saying he want to get y'all on the same track and see who go the hardest. I offered that when we was in the. If you go look at your comments on that no, video, I, I, posted, seen I said it. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's let's do let's let's do something together. I, it ain't no it ain't no beef with me, but I feel like. If you trying to beef with somebody because they say they go harder than you, you're insecure in your own pen game. Like if if somebody come tell me Nina, I go harder than you. Okay, let's go to the studio. Like we ain't gotta, I ain't gotta beef with you because you think you go harder than me. Let's go to the studio. Like uh, prove, let me prove you wrong. So. But you mentioned pen game a lot. You said pen pen game a lot, but to me, is it has a lot more than just the pen game. It has to do with the rapping, the deliverance, the everything, yeah, so, the whole package. So my thing is, everybody who knows me, my day one fans, and everybody around me, so I started out writing poetry. I wasn't rapping I remember first, you so said that before. When I was 12, I was writing poetry and shit, and like these dudes in my city, they found me and my cousins, and they, like we transferred to rapping, and it was a point where I was rapping, I mean, writing for all of us, so like I said, I started writing poetry. So when I write, it's a deeper process to me. I'm like, I'm, I'm, replaying stories in my head and putting it on paper and you got to think for so many years i wasn't dropping music i was sitting in my room by myself for hours sitting in the front room by myself for hours just playing beats playing with my voice playing with my delivery that's why if i go anybody that work with me and they see this right now they can vouch for you when i go in the studio i'm a I'm like this, like my delivery, my everything, because I've been studying this shit for years. I didn't just wake up and say I want to rap. I studied it because it's it's like rapping is something that I was always more passionate about, but I lost my passion because I went from like when you're when you're a person who transforms from poetry to rap, your lyrics are a little deeper. But when you're told to dumb your lyrics down, it's like I don't know how to do that. Right. So I've heard other people had that problem before. Yeah, so anybody that work with me can tell you I'm one of the artists. Like, they work with other female artists. They got to work on their delivery. They got to work on this, work on that. I'm going to go, and I know how my delivery go. I know how to break shit down. I know how to breathe in between. I really studied this shit. I ain't just been doing this for studying it for two, three years. I can literally go in the studio, and when I say I can wrap circles around a bitch because I studied it. Like, I don't just want to do it. To get money, I studied this. Already. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to see how much you studied when we get you on this track, nigga. A lot of niggas holler about they studied this and all that. You think you're Tupac, little sister or something in this whole. I am. That's and why and that's I got what, on my leg. I see that's what you, you trying to come at me Period. with. You try to go hard on me right there with that. I, I know you can rap because you done rapped in here with me before. But, you know, at the end of the day, South Dallas Kiki got some, she got some go get, you know. I want to hear, I want to hear something. Like I said, it's other girl, that Be All The Truth girl they mentioned. You know what I'm saying? Now, I will say Be All The Truth so, is 
one it's a person. bunch of them. Like it's a bunch yeah, of them. I want to get like on the her. same mm-hmm. track and see. I want more than just you and uh, South Dallas Kiki. That's what I told him the other night. I'm trying to get me one together. So my but, thing is, I'm not a competition number. Like I can, sh- I can. I like do a cipher. That's why something like yeah. that or a mic check with all so five. I didn't reach out to girls that I see in the city that's upcoming that be on like Key Talk Media and shit. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't ask me for features, and I'm I'm giving them features for free like I'm talking to these girls I'm helping coach them like I'm giving them advice that's hard never met them I just see their upcoming so I am a people person but it's like I feel like anybody who's in this rap game looking at the next person's competition I never in my life Said nothing to Kiki. Never did nothing wrong to her for her to even feel some type of way about me. But I'm a, I always. I don't think she. She said you talk no. down on the city. And she, she said you talk I down. Didn't. You talk down on the city is what was said. Now I, I know I, I was here that day. I feel like she pop her shit. Um, uh, she talked down too motherfucking much. That's what I do feel like. Um, uh, just to be honest, I don't, I don't. I ain't trying to be funny, but she. I just feel like. If you came to Dallas to come up, she, what the fuck you talking down on Dallas for? I didn't. Have you ever talked down and on she Dallas? She said she liked your music. I didn't. Have you ever talked down on Dallas, Texas? <laughs> no. You know me, I like in the oh, court. Dallas no, the post, the post was on my page, and I don't even want to rebring her old shit, but... So you knew what she was talking about? Yeah, I knew what she was talking really? about. She took it wrong because I never said... Dallas rap, Dallas rappers suck. I said Dallas rap scene is so dry right now. They're like, like you said, the rap scene is open. I said the rap scene is so dry right now that they're accepting anybody that can go put say ABC on a beat and put a hard video on it. They're accepting you as long as your video hard. That's what I said, and I was into it with a specific person. Okay. Me and that specific person I was talking about had an argument all day that day, and everybody that follows me knows that. So that's okay. why when she said I'm talking down on rappers, I said name one artist in Dallas-Fort Worth that I talked down on. What's the artist I was talking about? It's not even from Dallas, Texas at all. I ain't even from Texas at all. So I told her, name the artist that you're talking about that I was talking down on. I ain't got a name to this day. I also told her, name the person who said, I'm a hater, I'm this, I'm that. When we got into that argument under them comments, everybody that was coming are people who don't like me. People who have been picking with me for three years now. So I'm like, is your, I mean, your advice can't, I mean, whatever you're hearing this from, it can't be credible if it's somebody who don't like me already. Of course, they're going to tell you the worst things. Yeah, because wow. I don't think she did. I'm not sure, but I don't think she actually went and did research like on your page or anything like that to see what I you said. I think it's hearing what somebody said. That's yeah, what she but said. I saw her interacting with people who don't like me under those right. comments. So at that point, I'm saying in my head, that's who she now got it I know from. where you got like, you, you're not credible at this point. If I ask somebody about you that don't like you, what you think they're going to tell me? Mm-hmm. The worst things they could possibly tell me. Right. Wow. You know, the thing is, like I said, um, great talent. I ain't going to lie to you. To me, it's, it's nothing. To, it's something that puts eye on the talent. When Rainwater says something or when we ask a question, I like the fact that the, the, the eye is on the talent. You guys are talented. I want the best out of y'all, to be honest with you. I really want some good music. Y'all bring the best music that I've heard in Dallas, period. I'm going to be real with you. Them the two, y'all the two consistent ones putting stuff out, working. And and that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real for a minute. I, I really, like I said, I seen her and I never let her even come on the show early on because of my kin folks. She already know that. But the thing is, when I when I would see her, I cringe at the fact because she was steadily dropping and she was getting momentum and she was going over here. And I'm like this. One. And I was calling you, of course. You've been coming to see me for a while now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I was it's like, damn, you know, like and it, and, and it's a thing where. I really want to see the best talent. I want to see the city rise. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the right people, you know what I'm saying, to, to make this thing bubble. And I think I think you I guys are dope, like, man. I don't think I'm, I don't, I don't feel like I'm being a person or a start because I said can't no female in Dallas Fort Worth with me. I feel like what I'm trying to do, if I'm telling y'all, y'all can't with me, I'm basically trying to make y'all whole Motivation. rap picture. Rap, we all finna rap Motivation. Because I'm calling y'all out. Like, Motivation. If you harder than me, show me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.